Another crappy day in June. Just in case you haven't noticed, there's our gang's old home turf. Look at that mess on the ground, a regular feeder has just been and gone not long ago. Everyone must have had their share by the look of it. Poppy's left pouch is full. If a low-ranking mother like Poppy has managed to grab something, I think 80% of them have had something. And Daphne's left pouch is also stuffed too. Goodies are plentiful today. No wonder these two just ignore my presence. So far so good, nearly everyone I bumped into is doing just fine.
Hold on there, who is Dorothy holding in her hand? Oh no, that must be her grandson born only last week. As far as I know that baby was still doing well only the day before from one of the regular feeders. So something, an accident probably had only happened in the last 36 hours. Was it an accident or from a fall in a tussle for the baby? And where is Dorothy, the baby's mother? From the look of it, I believe it's Dorothy's doing. She cannot control her yearning for a baby again. This Dorothy with her last baby, Buddy before she was sterilized later that year. A good loving mum then. When her daughter, Dorothy, gave birth to a boy. The first sign of something gone awry in Dorothy's mind. She pulled rank on her own daughter, and took control of her daughter's son, her own grandson. She kept and carried him like it's her own very son. That baby boy, we called Beanie, didn't seem to have starved. So Dorothy must have handed him back to her daughter a few times each day so that he could nurse. It wasn't normal, but at least the baby was still thriving. At first I thought it was just an anomaly that wouldn't come to any harm.
and it certainly seemed so. Beanie was even using her grandmum's tit as a pacifier. Or perhaps somehow Dorothy could lactate even without going through a pregnancy herself. Beanie was clearly loved and protected by his grandmum. This anomaly went on for exactly a month. Until one day in mid-June. Beanie had died, not from starvation, but probably from a fall. Perhaps Dorothy could no longer tolerate the situation, and wanted to wrestle her baby back from her mum. I guess he must have fallen during a tussle high up in the trees between Dorothy and Dorothy. Dorothy gave birth the following year in 2021, to a girl, Daphne. She unfortunately had to go through the same ordeal again with her grandmum, Dorothy. But she had made it, and as we speak is a thriving mischievous yearling now. Just when I thought Dorothy might have learnt this year, it happened again. Poor baby. Rest in peace. He had lived for seven days, surrounded by love, and perhaps too much of it.